didn't even get to go. Hey guys, it's so oh, wait, little Cumberbatch, and welcome to a reaction video. Today we are going to be doing a video on top ten scariest SCPs. It's by SCP Readings, and I've never seen this video, so let's get right into it. To the reaction, I probably won't monetize this video just because I don't want to get copyrighted. So let's go. And welcome back to another top. List from SCP Readings. I'm okay. your reader, Gmodon, and these are, in my personal opinion, the top 10 scariest SCPs. Please note that this list is heavily opinionated and that there may be some scarier SCPs out there, but I simply may not have discovered them yet. Some of these SCPs are not particularly deadly, but they hold certain elements of terror and horror that put them onto this list. All right. Good, I guess. Let's go. SCP-035 appears as a white porcelain comedy mask, changing in intervals to a tragedy mask, in which all previous visual records of this SCP will change to match its current state. At all times, a highly corrosive and degenerative viscous liquid constantly seeps from the eye and mouth holes of the mask. Anything coming into contact with the liquid beginning to slowly decay until it's nothing more than a pool of the toxic substance. Okay. What the heck? Um, something touches it, it melts. What the heck? What is wrong with the world? In addition to this liquid, the mask holds a mimetic effect of causing any subject within a 1.5 to 2 meter radius of it to have the urge to put the mask on. Once the mask is on the subject, SCP-035 essentially takes over the quickly decaying subject, seeming to have some form of high cognitive ability. Despite being quite charming and intelligent when being worn, the mask tends to take on a highly manipulative nature, capable of forcing sudden changes to other psychological state, prompting some to commit suicide and even cause harm to others. Okay, so you put this mask on. You, you know, just getting like 1.5 to 2 meters radius to it. They want to put it on. They put it on. And it controls them. And causes them to commit suicide. Or kill other people. Nice, man. Number 9. Number nine. SCP-2059 is a large mass of flesh, organs, bones, and various tissues what? that include several aquatic creatures, a multitude of livestock and insects, and even dozens of human bodies. Any living creature touching the mass of flesh will immediately be absorbed into its mass. However, skin, hair, and nails are all discarded. The large mass of flesh tends to be aggressive towards organisms, whether it be human or animal and will attempt to either kill or assimilate them on sight. Several of its vital organs appear to be unused and on an unknown... Okay. If this is number nine, what the heck is number one or two or three? This is terrifying. Day in the early 2000s, the SCP allowed one of the many humans it had absorbed to speak, referring to this SCP as a child, seemingly not of this world, that does not know how to use all of the extra organs it has within its mass. As of today, it is unknown where this SCP has come from, and what will come of it. Okay. Number 8. SCP-432 is a simple two-door steel storage cabinet, the exterior painted in a matte green that has succumbed to corrosion and light scratching, indicating it has been left exposed to the elements for long periods of time. 
What is most remarkable about this cabinet is within its doors lie a large labyrinth complex comprised of uncharted series of corridors that change each time the doors are closed and reopened. Along the walls of the steel interior are regular household light bulbs secured to the walls at irregular intervals and many seem in a state of disarray and even broken. I'm sorry, this one's boring. The sentient person is in possession of the ticket. It will eventually transform into a transit ticket for a form of transportation the holder would most desire to use. Okay. When used to board a particular vehicle that corresponds to the ticket, the subject cannot exit the vehicle by any means. Once the vehicle ends its route and comes to a complete stop, the user will disappear completely from this reality. Before this occurs, users report- How does this crap even exist? Like, I- is this crap real? I wanna know this. Like, what the heck? You disappear? Really? Okay. A feeling of dread prior to boarding the vehicle. The feeling only increasing during the course of the journey, culminating into complete panic and terror shortly before disappearance. Okay. Number six. SCP-122 is a simple child's nightlight designed Look in the style picture. of a shooting star. Look at that picture! SCP is a simple child's nightlight designed in the style of a shooting star. That doesn't look like a shooting star to me. When it's in an unpowered state, the nightlight will cause all subjects within a 500 meter radius of its location to enter into an REM sleep. They will move into a comatose state in which they will remain until the nightlight is resupplied with power. While comatose, dark humanoid figures composed of slightly translucent mass will appear from many shadows around the subject. These figures do show signs of sapience and sentience, in addition to physical abilities that allow them to gather all sleep aids within the area of effect and apply them to the subjects. Some of the items have included insomnia medication, other sleep medication, pillows, blankets, mattresses, bed frames, and even lullabies. If powered on, it will affect all sleeping patterns of subjects within its radius, and can even cause psychological disturbance. Okay, one second. I know I'm, I keep pausing the video, I just want to talk. Okay, so if it makes everybody in like a 500 meter radius, how will it be repowered? I mean, someone goes near it, they get tired and fall asleep forever. Unless they're like, the flash and just go through, okay, powered up. And why don't they just, like, get like a, why don't they just, like, burn it? Like, if it's obvious that that's happening, why don't they just burn it or kill it? Kill with fire. Okay, let's continue. If any subject awakens while within its radius at this time, after a particular incident where 11 of these figures escaped, multiple deaths occurred, making this SCP even more dangerous and deadly than before. Number five. That was a, that was a really good one. SCP-513 is an unremarkable rusty cowbell. However, its anomalous properties begin any time it creates any noise. Immediately, a strong anxiety is created in all sentient beings that are around to hear the bell, victims claiming that they feel as though they are being watched by an unseen entity. Nearly now, that is terrifying. Being just have the feeling of being watched by something that's not supposed to be in the world. Jeez. An hour after exposure, those victims begin to catch glimpses of an unknown figure when opening doors, walking past mirrors, and turning their heads. The figure is usually described as a tall, thin humanoid with a- Okay, the one thing I don't like about this video is as the, like, the letters are going up, look at them, they're like, really weird. Unsettling large hands. Sightings of this figure occur every 14 yeah, like to 237 minutes, these stalking behavior inevitably causing sleep deprivation. Those who do end up- Okay, I don't like this one. I Touch you. Touch you. Number four. SCP-303 is described as a nude, sexless, thin humanoid figure with reddish-brown skin. Instead of normal facial features, its head is dominated by an extremely large mouth and oversized human teeth. What? It continually vocalizes a heavy wheezing sound, which can be heard from the other side of most solid doors. Periodically, this creature will materialize behind any closed door, hatch, or other entryway barrier opposite a sentient observer, chosen seemingly at random. 
It will remain behind the door, just barely within view, causing those on the other side to experience intense paralyzing fear that lasts until it dematerializes, either on its own or to- Okay, so the rake, basically. A nude, sexless, sexless, thin humanoid figure, but it doesn't- but the rake is, like, really, really pale. What the heck is up with the world? To avoid being directly seen by any other observer. Number three. Get ready, my friends. SCP-1471 is a free app for mobile de- Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that picture, wait. SCP-1471 is a free app for mobile devices named Mail Zero version 1.0.0. Okay, I'm gonna see this and maybe I'll play it. Devices named Malo version 1.0.0, having no listed developer and has somehow passed the application approval process to go directly to distribution. After the app is installed, there will be no icons or shortcuts. It will simply begin to send the individual images through text messaging every three to six hours. Each image will have a large humanoid figure with a candid-like skull and black hair, either in the background or foreground of the image. For the first 24 hours, the pictures will be taken at locations commonly visited by the individual. However, after... F nope. Get anything I said. Nope, 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 not doing it. 48 hours, the mobile device will begin to receive pictures of places the subject has recently visited. Then after nope. 72 hours, pictures of the individual in real time with the creature appearing within close proximity will begin to be sent. Those with more than 90 hours of exposure will begin to briefly see this figure out of their peripheral vision. Nope. The longer this occurs, the more prominent the visions of the figure will become. The only known cure for this effect is to remove the individual's visual exposure to these images prior to 90 hours after installation. Okay, I'm not doing that. Never, 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 never. SCP-087 is a dark platform staircase. The design of the stairs I know limiting this one. visual range to... Number one. SCP-106 appears to be an okay. elderly humanoid with a general appearance of advanced decomposition. The rotting quality varies, yeah. but seems to remain in some capacity in each appearance. This SCP is not particularly agile, even remaining motionless for days at a time as if waiting for prey. But the organism is capable of scaling any vertical surface, even remaining suspended upside down indefinitely. When attacking, the SCP will attempt to incapacitate its prey by damaging major organs. Okay, seriously, what is wrong with this planet? An elderly humanoid with general appearance. It's rotting, it kills people, it's very agile, it's motionless, it hangs upside down, and it tries to pull out your major organs. Fun time. I want him to come to my birthday party. No, I don't. Muscle groups or tendons, then pull them into its pocket dimension. Any physical contact to any solid matter the SCP makes causes a corrosion effect, engaging a physical breakdown in material several seconds after contact. A combination of rusting, rotting, and cracking of materials in the creation of a black mucus-like substance similar to the material coating the SCP. What? A very, like, so it eats you, brings you to a dimension, it physically breaks you down, you will start, wait, after contact, a combination of rusting and rotting, and mucus will cover you. What? Occur in effect. It seems to be a sort of pre-digestion, continuing for six hours after contact. The SCP is capable of passing through solid matter, able to vanish inside solid matter and entering into its form of pocket dimension. This SCP seems to be able to exit this dimension from any point connected to the initial entry point. It is unknown if this is the point of origin for the SCP or simply a layer created by it. Um... So that has been the top 10 scary- Okay. Bit of a- The world, man. The world is so weird. I don't like it anymore. The world is so weird.
like things that could tear your organs out. But it's a good thing all these things are like locked away because I don't think I'd want any of them. I know there's like one that I really want to be out because he's really friendly. I only know a couple. I know like SCP containment breach. I don't want that dude. That dude should be killed. And I can't remember what this other one is, but he's like a green blob that, you know, sometimes they even let the people that work there let him like roam around. And that's nice. I really like that. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you guys if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, leave a like and subscribe. Go ahead, comment down below if you want me to do more reactions or just vlogs and gamings. And peace out.